Hey everyone, here's a question on square. The question is, uh, area of square ABCD is 16 centimeter. Find the area of square joining the midpoint of the sides. So here they have given the area of square ABCD. That is this big one, big square ABCD. This this is the square which is in black color. They have given the area which is 16 centimeter square. And here we have to find out the area of the square which is joining the midpoint. That is the square you see in a blue color. We have to find out this area. That is SRQP. Area of this SRQP we have to find out. So how to do this? We know that to find out the area of square we should know side. Which means we have to find out either SR or RQ or QP. Any one side we have to find out. So how to do this? So we know that they have given the area of square. So from this we are going to find out the side. So let's start on what we know from the question. So they have given area of ABCD where ABCD is square. So ABCD is equal to 16 centimeter square. But what is area of square formula? It is side into side or side square, right? So side is equal to or side square is equal to 16 centimeter square or you can just write down 16 for now. So we will find out only side so take a square root on both the side. When you take a square root on both the side the square and square root will get cancelled we will get only side. So side is equal to square root of 16 okay. But what is square root of 16? It is 4. So 4 centimeter yes because 16 is a perfect square it is square root it is a uh, square of 4. So the answer will be 4 centimeter which means we have got the sides of this bigger square which is 4 centimeter. So each side is 4 centimeter. If each side is 4 centimeter and they, they have given the question that the square is joining the midpoint. So if this point S is midpoint then AS will be 2 centimeter and SG will be 2 centimeter. Similarly DP will be 2 and PC will be 2 because they have given that S, R, Q, P are midpoints. They have given that square joining the midpoints of the side. Midpoints means dividing the side into two equal parts and we know that one side is 4 centimeter then this will be 2 and this will be 2. Right? So this is this is 2 centimeter and this one will be 2 centimeter. Similarly, this will be 2, this will be 2. I hope it's clear how we got 2. Now here we are going to take a uh, we are going to take a triangle and we are going to find out the area. We know that in square all the angles are 90 degree which means this suppose this angle let us take this angle this will be 90 degree. All these angles are 90 degree yes we can choose one triangle and we are going to find out the side of the square. How we are going to do that if you observe here this is forming a right angle triangle yes because this is 90 degree or you just take this triangle let me take this triangle here SDT this triangle if you see this is forming a right angle triangle because angle D is 90 degree and SP will become hypotenuse and SD is a height and DP is a base here. You can take any triangle here because all the angle, all the triangles will be right angle triangle because all angles are 90 degree. I am choosing this triangle to explain you because you can be able to identify which one is base and which one is height here. And we know that SP will be hypotenuse. Why SP is hypotenuse? This is 90 degree, right? Opposite to this 90 degree, whatever side you see, this will become hypotenuse. So opposite to 90 degree, this side we have SP. So SP will be a hypotenuse. So we're going to apply a Pythagoras theorem here. We're going to find out the hypotenuse here. Once we got the hypotenuse, you know that hypotenuse is nothing but the side of the square. Yes, using that, we're going to be able to find out the area of the square. So let's apply the Pythagoras theorem here. So in triangle, in triangle SDP, we are using Pythagoras theorem here. So using a Pythagoras theorem, we know that hypotenuse square, so hypotenuse here is SP. So SP square is equal to height square plus base square. Height here is SD. So SD square plus DP square. Now substitute the value. We don't know SP so write down SP square. SD is 2. So 2 square plus DP is also 2. So 2 square. 
So, 2 square plus 2 square is nothing but 4, 4 plus 4 which will be equal to 8. So, here we got SP square is equal to 8, but here we have to find out only the SP value. So, take a square root on both the side, when you take a square root, the square on SP and the square root will get cancelled, we will get only SP. On, on the right side, we will get square root of 8. We know that 8 is not perfect square. Yes, so but you know, write, uh, I'm going to rewrite this as 4 into 2. Why I'm writing 4 into 2? Say I'm trying to write this in terms of perfect square number and a number. 8 is not a perfect square number, but 4 2 is also 8, and 4 is a perfect square number. I'm trying to um, uh, like I'm going I'm going to I'm trying here to minimize the number so I can solve it easily. So root 8 is also correct answer. I'm trying to take the number outside the uh, square root here. So, 4 is a perfect square which means you are going to write this as root 4 multiplied by root 4. So, root 4 multiplied by root 2. But what is root 4? Root 4 is 2 right because 4 is perfect square number. So, we will get here 2 square root of 2 or 2 root 2 we will get here. Because 2 is not a perfect square number, 4 is a perfect square number. What I did here is I am trying to write down this number in terms of a perfect square number so that I can take a square root of it. So, 4 is perfect square number, square root of 4 is 2, so I got 2 here, so 2 into square root of 2 which is 2, so which is root 2, so 2 root 2 we got. So, this is one side of the square. Now, using this we are going to find out the area because area of square is side into side and we got this side here. So, side here is 2 root 2. So, once we got this side, we can able to find out the area. So, I am going to erase this part here. So, area will be, so we got here side. So, side of square, this is different square, this is smaller one. S R Q P is equal to 2 root 2 centimeter. Now, we are going to find out the area. So, area of S R Q P which is square is side into side or side square anything. So, side into side. So, multiply now substitute the value it is 2 root 2 multiplied by 2 root 2. So, when you are multiplying here the numbers will get multiplied. So, 2 2 is 4 and when you multiply square root with uh, the same number like root 2 and root 2 are same right. When you multiply what happens the square root will go and will get the number. So, here root 2 into root 2 will be 2, the square root will, will get moved, like it, it will get removed, we will get only 2. So, 4 into 2 which will be 8, so we will get 8 centimeter square because its area it will be centimeter square. So, area of the square S R Q P is 8 centimeter square. So, I hope it is clear, now in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.